Hello, everybody. Uh, first off, thanks for joining us today for our Tracer Plus registration and device management webinar, uh, where we'll be walking you through our, some of the registration tips for Tracer Plus uh, and some of the new licensing models with uh, Tracer Plus and Tracer Plus Connect. Okay, so uh, some of the topics we're just going to quickly go over uh, in this webinar, including uh, the registration of the Tracer Plus mobile client, uh, as well as the registration for Tracer Plus Connect. Uh, so they're, they're slightly different um, licensing models between the two different products. Uh, Tracer Plus mobile client is registered per PDA, and the Tracer Plus Connect application is registered per connection or per PDA that can uh, connect to that application. So we'll be going over uh, both of those two uh, registrations processes as well as how to get the registration code from uh, after an order is placed uh, and apply that to both the uh, mobile client as well as the uh, Tracer Plus Connect application. Uh, I'll also be going over the Tracer Plus Desktop Client Manager uh, which is a tool that uh, kind of allows you to manage the different devices that you have uh, connected or out in the field and allows you to also automatically register those Tracer Plus clients through that application. Uh, so you don't have to go through the manual process of uh, filling out a form on our website and requesting the registration code. Uh, it will actually do that for you automatically. And I'll go over a little bit of that today because uh, we have had a lot of questions over the automatic registration process with Tracer Plus Desktop. Okay, so uh, first off, I have a screen here on how the licensing works for the Tracer Plus mobile client. Uh, the Tracer Plus mobile client is installed per PDA and has to be registered per PDA. So when you download and, and install the application, it would be pushed out to each mobile device that's uh, connected to your PC. And then you'd apply, uh, after a, a redemption link was set to you, apply a registration code to each PDA out in the field. Um, so it's, it's registered per installation or per device and uh, it's available in both a standard and professional operating mode. So as you're registering, you just make sure that you put it into the correct mode, for, uh, professional versus standard, uh, and then just apply the registration code. Uh, just as a note here, Tracer Plus Desktop, which is the tool that can automatically uh, register all of your devices out in the field, is provided at no charge and there's no registration uh, associated with that piece of software. Um, so again, they're, they're registered per PDA. Each uh, PDA that you have out in the field would be installed with the mobile client, and then each one of them would be registered with the registration code that's issued uh, from, from us. So you would just apply that code and you'd be good to go. Uh, the, so the trial software that you install to the application uh, will be unlocked uh, once you enter the registration code. Okay, and then uh, this next slide I have here is how the licensing works for Tracer Plus Connect. The application actually uh, will be unlocked to a certain number of devices or seats that have been purchased for that installation. So after installing Tracer Plus Connect onto a server or a PC, uh, when the registration code is applied, it will unlock an a certain number of devices, uh, basically the number of devices that have been purchased that would be allowed to connect to that installation. So say for instance if you wanted to do, uh, you had three PDAs out in the field and you wanted to install one copy of Tracer Plus Connect, you would go ahead and apply your registration code to the Tracer Plus Connect installation and then you'd be allowed to connect three devices to that installation. So it's no longer per PC, uh, it's really per PDA that's going to connect to that install. Uh, with the license that's issued, you can install Tracer Plus Connect on satellite PCs so that you can go ahead and sync up with satellite PCs as well. So if, if three, uh, a three seat license is purchased, you can install Tracer Plus Connect on three separate servers or three separate PCs and on each one of those uh, you could go ahead and sync up those three clients that you uh, have out in the field. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually show you some of this uh, and how it works kind of from start to finish. I'm going to jump over to my uh, email client here and I'll show you one of the emails that's sent out from uh, PTS and then is used in requesting your registration code. I'm going to open up Outlook here and you'll see that um, in my inbox here I have two emails. Uh, one of them is called a redemption link email and this email is used uh, as the code that's issued to someone that has purchased Tracer Plus to request a registration code. So for each product they had purchased, a redemption link is sent back and then they can use that 
uh, redemption link to request the registration code. Okay, so you can see here is a sample one. Uh, this person has purchased a, uh, a five licenses of Tracer Plus Pro version 7.0. Uh, so you can see there's five redemption links that are associated with that. And then down below, they had purchased a five seat license of Tracer Plus Connect 7.0. And again, you can see here, there's one primary installation and uh, four satellite installations. So they can go ahead and install it on their original PC and then they can install it on f four others. And to request the registration code is the same as Tracer Plus Professional in that you would use these redemption links here. So uh, just to show you, if kind of start to finish, the most manual way of getting a registration code for the software that you purchased is by clicking on one of these redemption links here. So if you actually get the email and then click on a redemption link, it will go out to our website and fill in some of the information about the um, registration code that you are requesting. So you can see here, here's the redemption link that I clicked on. Uh, you just want to fill out some of this additional information and then hit request registration code. The one thing that you'll have to grab here in kind of a manual process is the device ID. And down below you'll see a screenshot of where you can get that device ID for Tracer Plus and it's available within the application when you first open it up. And I can show you that here. So here I have a mobile client that's connected to my PC and I'm sharing the screen. And if I open up Tracer Plus, which I now have installed as a trial installation, it'll jump to this splash screen here where it'll show you that you have to register. Uh, this is where you get the device ID. So once you get your redemption link email, you would go ahead and click on one of the links and then you take this device ID here and enter it into the form uh, on the, in the device ID field and then click request registration code. That will then send an email back to you with your registration code. When you receive it, you would go ahead and just click this register button here, making sure that you're in the correct mode, professional versus standard and then enter the registration code provided. And then that'll unlock this installation of Tracer Plus and remove any trial restrictions that you had on the mobile device. Okay, so you would have to do that for each mobile device that uh, was, for each mobile client that was purchased. You would go ahead and enter the registration code for this device uh, and then do it for say the four others in the case of this order here with five licenses. Okay, so I'm going to actually go ahead and exit out of this, and I'm going to show you how you can kind of automate this a little bit. Um, so in the past, you'd always have to click each redemption link here and manually request your registration codes and then enter them within the, uh, the mobile device so that you can unlock the trial features. Uh, with the latest version of Tracer Plus Desktop and Tracer Plus 7.0, we've actually added that ability to the client manager in Tracer Plus Desktop. So what I'm going to do here is actually open up Tracer Plus Desktop and jump over to the client manager once the application loads here. Okay, so you can get to the client manager, manager by selecting tools and then client manager. When this opens up, you'll actually notice every PDA that you've ever connected to this PC that's running Tracer Plus Desktop will contain all of the device IDs that have been connected, uh, as well as some of the information about those mobile devices. So maybe whether or not they're registered already, the version that they're running, and the last connected status. Okay, so you can see I have a number, number of them here. Most of them have been registered already, except you'll notice the one that's actually connected is uh, has not been registered. Okay, so this Tracer Plus Client Manager is where you can actually automate the registration of your mobile devices. So in order to register any one of these devices here, I would just select it from the list and click this register button over here. So when I click that, it opens up a form where I can now enter my redemption links. And basically what I want to do here is take the email that I received and copy the redemption link into this redemption link column. Okay, and you can do that and then uh, paste it. You can enter an email address where you'd like to get a confirmation. And then once you're done, all you do is hit request. Okay, and then this actually go out, uh, uh, you'll have to have an internet connection, but I'll actually go out to our servers and request the registration code. And as long as that redemption link is a valid redemption link and it hasn't been redeemed already, meaning another device has requested a code against it, it'll come back and say registration successful. So you can see now I have actually just registered that device. Uh, the interesting or neat thing about that is once the code comes back, it actually gets deployed to the device automatically so that you don't have to do anything on the PDA. Uh, so you can see here's the registration code that was returned. 
Uh, and if I go over to the PDA and open up Tracer Plus, you should notice that it will, uh, upon opening, jump right to the launcher screen where I can now start using the Tracer Plus application. So there was no, uh, you didn't have to open up Tracer Plus on each one of the devices and uh, type in a registration code. It got pushed out automatically from the Tracer Plus desktop tool. Okay, and another thing to note too is I just requested one registration code here, but let's say for instance you may have had five. You can select multiple uh, rows within this client manager and then click the register button. Now all of these are registered so they're not going to show up here, but uh, when you do that it will allow you to paste the five redemption links say that you have available into the redemption link column for each device and hit request and it'll automatically register all five devices at once. Uh, so that'll come back and then get deployed to each device as they're connected to the application. Okay, so it really kind of simplifies how you get that registration code. Uh, there's no need to jump out to our uh, the form here and manually request this and then type it in manually. Uh, it really just kind of grabs that over the website, brings it back to Tracer Plus Desktop, and then allows you to push it out to the device automatically. So you don't have there's no real uh, other than pasting the redemption link into that form. There's no interaction or typing of, of the different uh, registration codes that you may have. Okay, so that's kind of the uh, simplified registration uh, in Tracer Plus and how you can manage it within Tracer Plus Desktop. Okay, so just again, it's through the Tracer Plus uh, Client Manager available from the Tools uh, Client Manager menu up on the top of Tracer Plus Desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to actually jump over to Tracer Plus Connect because a lot of people have had questions about the registration process with Tracer Plus Connect and how, how they completely unlock trial mode within that application. Tracer Plus Connect, again, it's downloaded from our website and is available as a in trial mode when you install the application. So just like the, our other products, everything's available from the website for free download and then you would just apply a registration code to unlock all of the features. With Tracer Plus Connect, it's slightly different. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the management studio of Tracer Plus Connect here and show you that. Um, uh, if I jump over to the tools registration form, you'll see here that I have uh, both a PC ID, a registration code that was issued, as well as slots for how many devices can be connected to this installation of Tracer Plus Connect. Um, so this here, you can see I already applied a registration code. Um, to this to this installation and then I had entered some PDA IDs so the process for registering Tracer Plus Connect is it starts off the same in that you're requesting the registration code from uh, from PTS it sends back a registration code when you enter that into the registration code field here it will unlock all of the client license that licenses that have been purchased um, the last thing that you need to do is then go ahead and issue these device IDs. So what you can do is jump over to your Tracer Plus client manager and desktop and actually copy the devices that you'd like to allow to connect to this installation of the management studio. So what you would do here is just go ahead and paste a device into this list and click this issue button here. It'll uh, bring up a little confirmation prompt, but if you hit yes to that, you'll notice that it fills in that device ID in the list. So what that means is now that uh, this dev device is fully licensed on the PDA side, it's also now allowed to connect to this installation of Tracer Plus Connect and do the full syncing uh, that's allowed with the application. So it'll unlock that five record limit of syncing between the, uh, the P uh, PDA and then the Tracer Plus Connect install. Okay, so it's a little bit different in that you're getting both the registration code for the application as well as entering the devices that are allowed to connect to this install. Okay, and then the last thing I'd like to mention is this import export tab. Um, I mentioned earlier that you can install Tracer Plus Connect on satellite PCs. So right now, I, this is actually my primary PC because I'm allowed to enter the device IDs that, are, that can connect to this installation. If I wanted to move and install a satellite PC at a different location, say, so that these devices could connect to a different uh, PC, I would need to move that license over to the new installation. So that new PC, I would run the install of Tracer Plus Connect and install it at the new location. Then what you would do is just export the device list that you've generated on your primary PC and import that into the satellite PC. 
Okay, so uh, basically what that's doing is uh, make, forcing one PC, your primary installation, as the, um, the director of all of the devices that are allowed to connect to any install of Tracer Plus Connect that you may have. Uh, and the reason being is the primary installation is going to keep track of every device um, and, and then when that's deployed to a satellite PC, the satellite PC can't uh, just add different devices. So it would limit a user from duplicating device IDs between two PCs and you're really just moving that registration from one location to another. So that, that import and export process basically consists of pressing this export button. It creates a registration file. And then on the satellite installation of Tracer Plus Connect, you would, you would see an import button here. You would click import. And once you import, you'd select that same file. And now that new server that you have set up with Tracer Plus Connect will allow to sync with all of your devices out in the field. So if you had two locations where maybe you wanted to sync up five handhelds, and maybe at some point they're moving to another location, they can sync up with that location as well because the Tracer Plus Connect installation can move to that new location. Um, and one other thing I'd like to mention about the Tracer Plus Connect registration process. Uh, let's say you have all of your devices registered out in the field and one gets sent in for repair and one needs to be replaced because it's broken. You can, on your primary installation of Tracer Plus Connect, reissue licenses. And to do that, you would use this Tracer Plus Connect registration form and simply select the one that may have been damaged and which uh, and which may have a different device ID now because it was repaired or maybe replaced. And you would retire the one that's, that's been um, uh, broken out in the field. So let's say, for instance, this E2CF uh, device ID here has been broken, re replaced it with a new one. I can go ahead and retire this. Okay, I'm going to hit yes to the confirmation. It retires that device so you can no longer connect it to this installation of Tracer Plus Connect. And then you can go ahead and you ha now have a new open license where you can enter a new device ID so that new device that was sent back for maybe repair uh, can now connect to this installation of the application. And again, I thank everyone for joining us today and hope everyone has a wonderful day.